A letter would arrive on the desk of Oklahoma's Assistant Attorney General, accompanied with a $5 sirloin stockade gift card. The letter read, quote, Hey, you got away with it. I am murder and you helped do it. I am innocent and know it. It was signed Roger Dale Stafford, 103 767. Little is known about the background of Roger Dale Stafford. He was a white man with brown hair, married to a woman named Verna, and he had a brother named Harold. Stafford began his killing spree in January of 1974. His first unfortunate victim was Jimmy Earl Berry. Berry was a student studying at the University of North Alabama. To support himself, he worked as an assistant manager at a McDonald's restaurant located in Muscle Shoals. It was a normal day for Barry and the restaurant when Stafford barged in, shooting the young man four times before stealing approximately $1,390 before escaping. This crime would remain unsolved for four years. He would never be prosecuted for this because of all the other offenses he would go on to commit. His killing spree moved to greater tragedy on June 22, 1978. On Interstate 35, Stafford flight down a family of three. The Lorenz family, consisting of 38-year-old Melvin, 31-year-old Linda, and 12-year-old Richard, were traveling from North Dakota to attend Melvin's mother's funeral. Once he had their attention, the group of three stopped to help. Harboring intentions of robbing the trio, Stafford would shoot and kill all three of them. About a month later, in July of 1978, Stafford would once again disturb the peace in a restaurant. Barging into the Sirloin Stockade restaurant, in Oklahoma City, he aimed to rob the place. He would go on to shoot and kill six employees and steal as much money as he could. Having killed 10 people, Stafford still hadn't been caught. However, in a turn of events, tragedy would strike Roger instead. His brother Harold was killed in a motorcycle accident in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Following his death, an unknown woman would visit Harold's body in a funeral home located in Chicago, Illinois. Police would track this woman and eventually discover her to be Verna Stafford. Roger would then be found and arrested, being charged and convicted of nine counts of murder, after which he was sentenced to death via lethal injection. Verna would not only testify against him, but divorce him too, despite also being sentenced to two life terms. Roger would go on to marry twice, whilst on death row. He would be executed on the 1st of July 1995 in Oklahoma by a lethal injection. Reportedly, his last words were unintelligible as they were, quote, spoken in tongues to his third wife. The next case that we will be looking at is that of Jackie Lee Willingham. Born on the 23rd of October 1969, Willingham was working as a door-to-door -door perfume salesman in Lawton, Oklahoma. On the 20th of December, 1994, he found himself at the door of an office building. A small woman greeted him. At the time, 62-year-old mother of three, Jane Ellen Vanway, was working as the Executive Director of Arts for All Inc. She repeatedly declined the man's persistent offers for perfume. According to Willingham, Vanway allegedly dismissed him in a rude manner. In a fit of rage, he decided to follow her into a restroom in a hallway near her office. Fueled by anger, he barged into the restroom, pulling her from the stall and beating her. Jane fought back, but the petite woman was eventually overpowered as Willingham smashed her head into a wall and kicked her face. Fenway eventually lost consciousness, suffocating from the blood of her injuries, passing away shortly thereafter. Police were able to track Willingham down as one of his sales brochures was found in another office near Fenway's. At first, he denied any involvement, but eventually confessed. He was subsequently charged with murder. Willingham was executed by lethal injection on the 24th of July, 2003. He was the 68th murderer to be executed in Oklahoma since 1976. His final meal, as recorded by ClarkProsecutor.org, was fettuccine alfredo, a small deep dish pepperoni pizza, breadsticks, and two peppermint patties. In his final words, he apologized to the Van Way family before saying, I love you to his own, and muttering, okay, I'm ready. Jane Ellen Vanway was a vibrant woman who had a great love for her family and the arts. Unfortunately, her life was tragically cut short
by the actions of a ruthless and hateful man. I've linked below charities and resources to support people who have been affected by violent crime. Please feel free to check them out. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe and be well. This has been Philo 5 Declassified. I'll catch you in the next one.